RTV6's Mark Mullins has an amazing story about a man who has overcome so much, and he has a special message for you tonight on the News at 6. Despite the challenges he's faced his entire life, I have a brittle bone disability. My bones are super fragile. It takes a lot to hold back Dustin Gilmer, and even more to make him angry. I don't think that I'm any better than anybody else or any less than anyone else. But what happened last weekend while he was in a Southside restaurant on US 31 had him shaking his head in disbelief. It made me angry because uh, anybody that knows me knows that I don't think that I'm entitled to certain treatment because of my disability. All he wanted to do was meet a friend to watch the Big Ten championship game. So I drove around the parking lot probably three or four times looking for a space that would allow me to deploy my ramp. Though he depends on a wheelchair, Dustin still drives a van equipped for him with a ramp. Since all the handicap spots were taken, he improvised and parked along a fence near the restaurant patio, making a conscious effort to not block anyone in. I came out and there was all this profanity written on my vehicle and uh, I just, I didn't understand why. Someone had vandalized his van, scrawling these crude drawings of male genitalia over the windows. We've had to blur the images. The vandals made a point to directly insult him, writing, handicapped or not, don't park like a expletive. Dustin found the attack repulsive and uncalled for. Even if I was blocking someone in, all I had to do was come in and say, hey, would you mind please moving your vehicle? You backed up a little too close to my car. And I would have gladly come out and moved my car. The restaurant staff helped Dustin wash away the profanity. Though he says he doesn't want to press charges, he does want to clearly convey a message. Sometimes when people with disabilities do things, it's not because we're trying to be mean or, or uh, a hassle to other people. It's because we have to. These are the things that we have to do in order to have the things that everyone else has. On Indianapolis's South Side, Mark Mullins, RTV6. And Dustin, thank you for sharing your story and your spirit uh, that you shared with us. Dustin is not sure whether the cars parked in the handicapped spots at the restaurant were parked there illegally. But just so you're sure, so we're sure, we check with Metro Police about the penalties for parking in a handicapped spot. If you don't have a placard, be mindful that you could be fined for that.